Hi everyone, it's Ray Alina here. Um, I am just super excited to do a little educating uh, for all of you who uh, may be wondering about skin cancer prevention and specifically SPF. Um, I get asked a lot and partially because I run a skincare education group at Limelight and I'm super passionate with my background uh, being an esthetician, a licensed esthetician for the last oh my goodness, like 13 years now I believe it's been, um, <laughs> 12 years maybe, but also I've been a skincare educator for many years. When I worked at Mario Tricocci I was, and um, I'm just really passionate about um, raising awareness at this time of year because it's summer and um, we are more directly impacted by the sun and by UV rays. And so I wanted to share a little bit because um, it can be, it can there can be misleading products out there. Um, there's just a lot that is involved with protecting your skin. And so I kind of wanted to kind of cover the basics a little bit about SPF, what it does, um, you know, what it means, you know, how to choose the right sunscreen and protect your skin. Um, and then I want to share with you a little bit about your ABCDEs, which is um, just really a formula for you to um, check your moles, check your skin, and um, really be aware of um, what's going on on your body um, to prevent um, any cancer that, that could be prevalent, any skin cancer. Um, so hi, thanks so much for jumping on today. Um, I hope everybody is just having an amazing summer so far, an amazing June and July, and I certainly am. I just got back from vacation, and um, hey Courtney, um, Court, I'm so excited. I'm sharing a little bit about some um, some sunscreen and skin cancer prevention today, and you know, I was out in the sun and I did protect myself. I used I used some of this, which is a 50. It's, um, you know, this is the active ingredient is titanium dioxide. And I'm a big fan of physical sunblocks versus chemical, which I'll talk a little bit. And then for my face, I have this one by MD Solar Science, um, which is the titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. So... Um, so yeah, so let's just start with what is SPF, right? It's your sun protection factor. And if you um, are applying, you know, an SPF 20, what does that mean, right? Like, or, or a 15, I mean, um, what, what would that do for you? So the idea of the sun protection factor is that if it takes 20 minutes for your sun, um, for your skin, unprotected, to start to burn, and you have an SPF 15 on, um, that will theoretically prevent um, you from burning and reddening about 15 times longer. Um, so that would, if it's regularly 20 minutes, 15 times longer, that's going to be five hours. So that is how you determine how often to, to reapply based on the number that you have, right? So if you have a 30, right, then it's gonna last you longer than that. But really you wanna reapply um, as often as possible when you're in that direct sunlight. Um, that's my opinion, but, you know, and here's the thing. There are, you know, UVA rays and there are UVB rays. And most SPFs that are out there um, protect you, They're, the main protection is from burning, okay? but. UVA rays are actually what cause melanoma cancer, and all the rays really contribute to aging. I mean, this really contributes, you know, in the 80 to 90 percentile range of um, our premature aging. So, yes, there are other things that um, factor into aging with the environment. Um, you know, if you're a cigarette smoker, if you are a drinker, um, if you're just like, you know, not taking care of your skin, all the rays. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, it's really important to have SPF as part of your routine daily year round. It really just isn't about um, when you're in the direct sunlight, but when you are, then you obviously want to reapply more liberally, okay? So I will tell you that 
this might shock you a little bit, um, but one in five, one in five Americans will develop a form of skin cancer um, in their lifetime. Okay, so one out of five people in America are going to get skin cancer. Um, that's the statistics right now. Um, and wearing an SPF of, you know, a 15 or high or higher will actually reduce your risk of getting melanoma by 50%. 50%, this is why I'm talking about this today, okay, because it, I say it's so preventable. Um, yeah, you know, you can't go back in time. You can't change times that you may have um, been sun tanning and gone to the booth. And um, that it's, you know, I've done it. I did it for prom when, you know, I was a teenager. And I went a few times um, in, a, in a, you know, sun booth or whatever. And that definitely increases the likelihood of you getting skin cancer. It just does. And um, so, you know, you really, if you're, if you're a big sun tanner, um, <laughs> you can always start over today and um, start, you know, preventing today and, um, and start protecting your skin. But, um, you know, it really is, you know, it's a, a way to prevent aging. It's a way to prevent cancer. And um, all it takes is just being knowledgeable about this and applying something every day. So um, I have shared one of my personal favorites, and this is MD Solar Sciences. Um, why I love this. I think you know, and I don't sell this at Limelight. I'm just sharing with you. I mean, I, I told you I use this. I prefer a physical block over a chemical block. Physical blocks um, tend to uh, protect you more from the UVA um, rays, which are the, the skin cancer causing. And um, I'm just an all natural kind of girl. I, um, you know, these chemicals do get into your bloodstream within, you know, a minute. And so I very much prefer having a physical block and something that's mineral based and more natural if I can. Um, but the reason why I like this is because the founders um, who created this really are, they're a, a council, they're a council of um, melanoma specialists. And so um, they have an advisory council that approves of all of their products and ingredients. Um, I've used their spray before, which um, it doesn't particularly smell the best, but it is it, it's environmentally friendly. Um, the, the way that it it is produced um, is great, so you don't have to worry about it having um, the toxins that normally come with a spray uh, SPF. And so, yeah, I just like the fact that... Um, the founder of this is, you know, a practicing um, oncologist in dermatology and really um, has made his purpose and passion to educate people and help uh, prevent people from getting melanoma. So that's why I use this. Um, and I had shared that this morning, if you guys saw that there was like some sale on that. So I shared about that. Um, so take advantage because it is summertime. Um, but really, you know, there's other things that you can do, which is, you know, to avoid tanning beds, of course, um, use a broad spectrum sunscreen that prevents, it protects you with the UVA, UVB, rays, UVB rays daily. Um, and, you know, apply your SPF 30 minutes before going outside. So I think that's a lot of times people get to the beach. I know this happened to my husband and we put the, the SPF on him and then went out and then it's like he was in the water after 10 minutes and, you know, already started accumulating the, the burn because really it takes about 30 minutes for the product to become, um, effective. And, um, and a huge thing is just examining your skin, as I mentioned, and that's where the ABCDEs come in. And, um, you know, I am going to share with you guys a personal story. So I started getting moles checked. Um, I get asked when to put it on after skincare or before makeup. Before, yes, after skincare and before your makeup, correct. And, you know, I, I put it on... Um, when I'm directly in the in the sun, I don't really wear foundation anyways, but I I would apply this over my foundation if I um, was going to be out and I felt like I needed the coverage. Um, but definitely getting moles checked is really, really important, you guys. I, I would say for sure if you're 30 and over, do this once a year. Um, 
I started doing this a couple years ago and I will tell you that I actually have a couple of moles and I'm going to show you. Um, I have a couple that are being removed this month and um, and there's a possibility, you know, I mean there's always a possibility when you have moles changing and I'm going to show you why I'm getting it removed. So I have had this mole my entire life. I always called it my beauty mark. It's kind of not beautiful, but I've embraced it. It's just part of who I am, right? So I've had this mole my entire life. Um, and since being pregnant, since becoming pregnant, it has completely changed. And I'm very aware of it. Um, I have always, you know, it's always looked the exact same. And really, when it comes to melanoma, which is the most dangerous form of um, skin cancer, there's, um, you know, squamous cell carcinomas, there's basal cell carcinomas, and then there are your um, melanoma. And so the ABCDE rule with melanoma um, has to do with A is for asymmetry. So that means if one half of the mole or birthmark doesn't match um, the other, then that's something to be concerned with. Um, B is for border. So if you notice the edges are irregular, ragged, notched, or blurred. Okay, so, um, and I actually have a growth on mine and it's, it's changed colors. The symmetry has changed. Um, so C is for color. The color is not the same all over. Um, might have brown, black, sometimes patches of different colors like pink, red, whatever. That's something to be concerned about. Okay. D is for uh, diameter. So if the spot um, is larger than six millimeters, meters across. Um, it can be smaller, but typically it's going to be bigger. Um, and then E is for evolving. So if the mole is changing in size, shape, and color, this is, you know, it's, this is why you want to, you know, look at having it checked. And so when I had it checked at a glance, um, they said, yeah, we're going to go ahead and remove this. And so I'm doing that, uh, I believe it's like at the end of the month, like July 24th, and we're going to have this removed because, you know, being being pregnant doesn't make me immune uh, from skin cancer, <laughs> and, um, you know, it's just better to be safe than sorry, and um, it very well could be from hormones changing, so I'm not, you know, being paranoid about it, but I definitely think it's important to be proactive and to check and get familiar with where do I have moles, um, look to make sure that A, B, C, D, E rule that, you know, you're noticing if it's changing in shape, size, color, um, diameter, etc. Um, and then, you know, also going to a dermatologist and having that checked once a year because, um, the way that it works, melanoma can be very aggressive and I mean, it's very aggressive form of skin cancer and, um, it's, one of those cancers that you want to catch as soon as possible to start treating because it spreads and it spreads to the point where your organs shut down and everything. So it's really, um, it's very, very, I think it's more, um, it's actually more prevalent of a cancer than uh, lung cancer, than liver cancer, than all these other cancers combined is skin cancer. And it makes sense because, you know, we're exposed to um, the environment and the sun every single day for the most part, most of us are, right? So um, even when you're, when you're not directly in the sun, you're exposed to those UVA rays, which are all year round. And that's why I say make it a part of your routine. Now, with that being said, um, I've shared with you some of the scary facts about um, skin cancer and prevention, but what I want to share with you too is um, these two products, Calm Balm and One Drop Wonder, okay, and why I think these are so vital to have as part of your routine. So Calm Balm, especially in the summertime, this is an anti-inflammatory. Now, when you get burned, okay, you you know, that's where like the hyperpigmentation comes from, all of those things that we don't really like. But um, we have, you know, antioxidants that fight um, the inflammation that's caused in our skin. So you can use um, Calm Balm, which is a really lightweight serum here. It's aloe based. So if you have a burn, it feels amazing to put on your skin. And um, this also has this 
this rare Indonesian kendi seed oil, which is part of that anti-inflammatory uh, property. So I honestly, I've had scalp burn before, and I've taken a couple pumps of this and put it on my scalp. It instantly gives relief. It's cooling, it's soothing, um, and it helps to reduce that inflammation um, that is taking place in the skin and calming it down and reversing some of the damage that's happening, okay? Um, so I always recommend keeping Keeping this on hand it's also wonderful just anytime like I say summer because we're we're outside a lot more typically and we're really exposed to the environment so I think it's great to have this on hand um, to calm and soothe the skin and um, fight against those the free radical damage um, and then one drop wonder is another um, must have in your um, skincare arsenal and this, I, I just can't say enough about this product. It has pomifera seed oil in it, which is really kind of fascinating that this product's harvested in Iowa of all the places. So it's local here um, in the US and it's one ingredient, it's cold pressed, and all it takes is one drop of this product um, to apply it on the entire face, okay? And this will not only give you UV cell uh, pro protection, so a little different than your SPF, right? It's not blocking any rays, but what it's doing, it's working like an antioxidant. It's protecting your cells. Um, it's strengthening that, that cell barrier. Um, but this is also antibacterial. It's antiviral. Um, it is it's just a wonder what this does. I mean, no wonder they call it one drop wonder. I have seen this help with rosacea, with acne, um, with lupus uh, lesions, with um, cold sores, um, because it has that antiviral, antibacterial property. Any type of real um, skin irritation that you're experiencing, whether it's a burn, um, a scar even, um, it regenerates the cells and it, and it penetrates very deep into the skin. But I am just blown away by the results that I've seen with this. Um, I think absolutely everybody needs it. Um, when you partner this with other products, it will press it deeper into the skin, making it more effective. Um, really, it works as a booster. It's a skin serum booster. So um, we call our power pair the Sotox and the One Drop Wonder because combined, it will help um, enhance the results of the Sotox and give you those those anti-aging benefits as well. So um, definitely having something to um, give you an extra boost to your skin, especially this time of year while you're <laughs> out in the out in the sun. Um, you 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 really need that. So you know these are the ones I've talked about today. The SPF, um, having Calm Balm, which can also either of these. If you have acne, if you have problematic skin, I highly recommend trying these. Get a sample from me if you want. Um, but definitely try them and see if this is the solution for your skin. Um, it's a water-based product. This one, the Calm Balm. Um, so and this this Pomifera oil. Um, actually comes from the seed of an Osage orange. So it's a fruit seed, um, so it's not coming from nuts. Um, so for any of you with nut allergies, um, definitely get a sample from me and try them because I have seen this really cure facial acne for people, um, rosacea, um, major, major skin conditions, and um, it would be a great way to get some hydration into your skin and tackle multiple problems at once. So um, that's really what I want to talk to you guys about. I will, of course, keep you posted <laughs> when I get results on um, my biopsy of what's going on with my um, with my mole and the change that took place. But um, please pay attention to your skin, take care of it. It is the largest organ that we have. And, um, you know, just remember that, that it's very preventable. Um, this cancer is very preventable. And, um, and so make it a part of your routine, make it as important as brushing your teeth. Okay. All right, everybody have a safe and wonderful 4th of July. Bye.